Here in the storage room, our Bismarck has been sitting on a cardboard box and it is, it is quite stable with the supports this far apart. And uh, I don't have the hull from the uh, hood yet, so I can't check to see how far it's, you know, the, the distance apart. Now, now this is about 16 inches. Uh, we do have the Rodney. We can check the Rodney and see if 16 inches, is, you know, if the supports are like here and here. Is it also going to be stable? Um, we can check the Rodney and see if 16 inches will be right. Then we'll know the spacing to uh, to put our brackets in the case. Now I didn't think I was going to be seeing anything of the Rodney until we were actually ready to start the build. But you know they say life is what happens to you while you're making other plans. And uh, we'll just check and see and I haven't actually checked yet. I like to do everything live on camera and that includes using q-tips when I shouldn't be. Uh, is this going to fit here? Okay, now we want to get 16 inch spacing here. Okay, there's 16 inches center to center. Now let's just see how stable this is going to be. Oh yeah, that's going to be all right. All right, if it will, if it will accommodate the Rodney and the Bismarck, I imagine that 16-inch spacing will accommodate the hood as well. Now, what I can do is we can go online and uh, take a look at one of those 3D drawings. Uh, yeah, let's just do that just for the fun of it. Okay, here we are in the World of Warships website. At least I think it is, uh, or something called Sketchfab. Anyway, here's our hood. I'm gonna try and rotate it very slowly here. Now it's it's difficult to rotate slowly, but I want to see. Does it appear that the hull is flat on the bottom? If we can zoom in on it a little bit here. I can't see it being rounded over. I, I would imagine they would want it as flat as possible to uh, keep the draft down. Uh, you wouldn't want a, you know, you wouldn't want a keel going down into the, you know, to the, down into the ocean there because when it would try to navigate a shallow uh, river or harbor or try and come up against a dock you wouldn't want something sticking way down any further than you have to no it appears to me that it is flat yeah you can you can that is if this drawing is accurate I, I would say it's going to be flat so if the Rodney will fit at 16 inches definitely the hood will because I believe the hood is about uh, eight inches longer, the model that is. I forget the exact difference, but uh, it's it's considerably longer. And as I mentioned before, the the hood is about an inch and a half longer than the Bismarck model. Anyway, yeah, 16 inches is going to be fine. Remember that little box that we mailed to Tony the other day? Well, it got delivered. Yeah, it just got delivered actually. And, uh, yeah, it's my hope that uh, Tony will snap pictures of the progress of his build, and he'll email them to me, and I'll be able to pass them on. That's my hope. But don't feel obligated, Tony, if it doesn't work out. That's okay, too. Enjoy. I have it fastened just with two screws in from the back, only at the top. But that's just enough to, to hold it. And you want to remember, the Rodney is the little guy. And uh, the hood, I did the math, the hood is uh, nine and a quarter inches longer than this. So the hood will pretty much fill the case. Um, and then of course the Bismarck will be, 
in between the two. By the way, this is the very first time that I put it, put a, uh, a hull on the supports here, and I, I can I can envision it being quite quite stable. I could have maybe made made these a little bit shorter. I probably want to have at least one of the hulls as close to the glass as I can. Um, anyway, I think it's going to be all right. I'm thinking now that the next best thing for me to do here is to try and get some paint on this thing. And I might have the white downstairs in the workshop, but it's been a long time since I've painted anything white, so I can't remember what I've got, and if I even have any, it's probably all no good anymore. But anyway, I definitely will not have the gray. So I want to use Battleship Gray, maybe a little bit lighter than normal Battleship Gray. Now, about yesterday's episode. Yeah, what was going on there? You know, some days, if it wasn't for the mistakes and silly things I do, I'd have nothing to show you. And yesterday was one of those days. It was just fraught with silliness. Yeah, imagine trying to use Q-tips to spread that glue around on rough wood. You know, and I had a little paintbrush right beside me too. I guess the reason I was thinking of Q-tips is because they're disposable. And the paintbrush, if I forget to uh, rinse it out after I'm done, that tight bond three, well, it's waterproof and you can't clean out your brush, you know. Your brush is a goner. Anyway, I think that's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.